Hello again. I'm going to show you how to make the fridge work. Um, a very important thing about the fridge is the vehicle needs to be level in order for the fridge to be happy. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course, uh, but fairly close. And I keep the level in this drawer right here, right in between these two things. Lovely and orange, as you see. And you have to check it back and forth and this way too. Okay, so we have leveling blocks, which are right there behind Mr. Watson. By the way, Mr. Watson needs to be tended to while we are not with him. Okay, he doesn't like to be out in the rain. He doesn't like to be out in the sun too long. He likes to smell things. He does not be outside overnight. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so these are the leveling blocks. And I will take some of these outside and show you how to use them in a minute. In the meantime, refrigerator freezer, as you can see. Um, if you're having a hard time getting things to be cold enough, uh, propane is more efficient than plug-in power, and plug-in power is more efficient than DC. We only want to DC when you're driving down the road. Uh, if you're going to be parked for some place longer than 10 minutes or so, you're going to want to get it off of DC and either put it on propane or plug-in depending on what your situation is. If you're in a driveway or something and you're not going to be level, it's just going to be a couple hours, just turn the refrigerator off. Somehow there's, um, the propane does something with bubbles in the back of the fridge and if it's not level, the there will bubbles will get in the line and then the propane won't go through. So uh, I hear it's a really big headache. And so if you like if you're in a grocery store and you know you're not level, it's like, oh, just turn it off. We do it. We turn it off for three, four hours. And if, as long as we don't open it, I, I feel pretty good about that. Um I don't want the bubbles, so uh I mean you don't have to freak out about it, but uh you just have to be aware of it. And you have to remember what you have the refrigerator set on, of course. Uh, so, ugh, these are the buttons, so you always have to set it, so right, right now I have it on three, uh, when it's really warm outside, um, you have to adjust its temperature, because it's not automatic, so if I set it at six right now, my sprouts will freeze, within four hours my sprouts are going to freeze my salad is going to freeze. Um, but right now where I'm at, at this temperature, three is working. Okay. So you always have to test, set the temp. Now mode right here is AC is alternating current. That's plug-in current. LP is propane. So right now the propane is not turned on outside. So even if I put it on propane, it's not going to work. And then DC. So we put that on when we're going down the road. But right now I'm plug. Oh, okay. This is, uh, I don't remember what this is. I think this means I let you decide all by yourself what you're going to do, but I want to make that decision for it. So I, I want it on AC. And then this, of course, would be the on and off. Okay. I'm going to back up. Um, other than that. It holds a ton, just a ton of stuff. I can get seven heads of cabbage and chocolate milks for daddy. And I just, it holds just a ton, as does the freezer. I'm trying to empty everything out so there'll be literally nothing in here and I'll get it cleaned out for you for when you come. It can hold two pieces of um, frozen veg. 
and fruit for daddy, etc. Okay, so something that happens is uh, sometimes you'll turn the propane on outside, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And it it will beep. Okay, so if the refrigerator is not happy, like let's say you turn it on propane and there is no propane, it beeps. Uh, if you turn it on AC and you aren't plugged in, after a minute or two, it'll beep. So if the fridge is beeping, always get up and see why it's beeping. Um, something interesting about the fridge is it also needs, even if you have it on propane, say you're staying somewhere uh, for a night or two and they don't have electricity to plug in, so you put it on uh, propane. The lights that I just showed you, they work on battery. So if the battery goes dead, the refrigerator starts beeping uh, because it is unhappy uh, because it needs battery for those lights and uh, so you won't know why is the fridge beeping but battery <laughs> okay so sometimes when you push propane the and you have the propane on outside it won't the propane doesn't go through the line so to make the propane go through the line, uh, so if you have a problem with it, this thing gets dirty. I, I hardly use it, but stuff gets down here. Anyway, uh, you you turn the stove on, and the matches, I think they're in the third drawer down. Uh, yep. Now, Daddy doesn't use the matches. Daddy can make it happen without the matches, but I'm not that good at it. Okay, so you just turn one of these burners on. Which one? I think this one. Anyway, you turn the burner on and then you push this little and it makes it spark, right? Every time you turn this on, make sure you have the vent open right here and a little window open. If you want, you can even turn the fan on to the vent to make sure that air is getting sucked through. Okay. Um, so let a burner run for one to two minutes and then try starting the refrigerator again. Okay. I think the propane thing is locked. So I am going to take you out there to where the propane is. Show you how to turn it on. Do not drive down the road with the propane on. Uh, it's illegal. And I, I'm kind of confused about all that because um, some people only have AC and propane. So how does that work since it's illegal? Oh, okay. Not locked. This is this thing right here, this black doohickey turns the propane on and then you see the word off so daddy has it plugged in right now okay so that is how you make the fridge work yay um, we're gonna need to know probably whether you are going to make a fast trip and you don't want the fridge on or not because Uncle Jim can have it turned on for you because it needs to be uh, turned on one to two days prior to a trip. It takes longer to get cool than a normal household fridge. So if you need that, um, Uncle Jim can do that because I will have it, uh, you know, cleaned out and nothing happening. The rig doesn't need to be plugged in when we're, uh, when we're not in it. Okay. Because if you're going to you know, if you're if you're just gonna make a quick trip and you're gonna eat sandwiches, and then there's really no reason to have the fridge on. Um, but if you're gonna go somewhere and stay a night or two, or you know, I'm not sure how your trip home is gonna be. So, okay, just let us know.